Caitlin. I'm one of the youth librarians at Skokie Public Library, and joining me today is... Desi! As you know, the STEAM in STEAM Engine stands for... Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math! Exactly! Today, I'm excited to really dig into the E and the A in STEAM, and we're going to do that by talking about one of the world's most famous artists, Leonardo da Vinci. You might remember him from such awesomely famous paintings as the Mona Lisa. So mysterious. Or the Last Supper. Totally true. But did you also know that in addition to his contributions to the art world, he was an accomplished draftsman? Ooh, a person who makes detailed technical drawings and plans. Oh, that's not all. He was also a sculptor, an architect, an engineer. Whoa, he was basically the total steam package. He was pretty incredible. And all the facets of his career are noteworthy, but today Today, I want to focus on the E. Engineers and problem solvers. Exactly. They identify a problem, then use math, science, and their imagination to come up with a solution. Leonardo da Vinci was born in 1452, long before electricity or modern technology, but he had one very important thing going for him. An awesome beard? Oh yeah, and also a curious mind. I mean, with no instruction manual, he created blueprints for flying machines, catapults, submarines, canals, fortresses, even an early robot prototype. He did so much. Yeah, that's not even the half of it. His creativity was limitless. And I think a really good example of all the ways that steam talked to each other. Like how he was a talented artist and painter, and maybe art allowed him to really look at things and see how they work. And that made him see the world in a different way, which made him curious and want to try new things to make the world a better and more interesting place? Yes! Sciences and arts are inextricably linked, and if we acknowledge and encourage that commingling, beautiful things happen. And to further illustrate my point, I'd like to introduce a different kind of M, music. Well, if you sing a catchy song, you'll never get it wrong. Science explains everything. The air we breathe and the songs we sing. The dogs who bite and the bees who sting. And why your mom is cringy. Hey. Just kidding. But without art, it's just information. You need powers of observation to stimulate your STEM foundation, or the world is bleak and dingy. So everybody paint and draw and view the world with joy and awe. Reinterpret scientific law and you'll be like Da Vinci. At this point, we can agree that da Vinci lived a full and fascinating life. We could spend weeks learning about him. Like, did you know that he was an animal lover and a vegetarian? Interesting. And that possibly, to keep his notes and ideas private, he practiced mirror writing, where you write from right to left. Try it. I mean, that's amazing. And that he was homeschooled. He never had any formal training. Okay, we should all go out and learn more about him. But for our project, I'd like to focus on one aspect of his multifaceted engineering history. Bridges. Oh, I love bridges. Me too. Wait till you hear about this one. Designed to be lightweight and easily put together, Da Vinci designed a self-supporting bridge that can be assembled with no tools, fasteners, or extra equipment. I have heard of the Da Vinci Bridge. You use planks with notches in them and kind of weave them together into a structure that supports itself. Yes, da Vinci himself said an arch consists of two weaknesses which leaning against each other make a strength. Its own weight creates tension which holds it up as you add more. It gets stronger. So I thought we could try to make one ourselves. There's a really specific way that they have to go together in order for it to work. You can find detailed instructions linked to this video. We tried popsicle sticks, some squared dowels that I attempted to notch myself, and finally some Lincoln logs, each with varying levels of success and failure. It turns out that this bridge may be lightweight, but it is not easily assembled. It took us a really long time and a lot of broken bridges before we finally made one that worked. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't try. Experiment with materials of different weights and shapes. See if that makes a difference. We also had fun seeing how much weight it can hold. Thanks for building bridges with us today, junior engineers. We will see you next time. Until then, why not think like Leonardo da Vinci? You know, like an engineer or an artist or a draftsman or sculptor. Just go try something new.